Using the yield keyword in Python can often lead to some confusion, especially for beginners. So here's a really simple run through of how you can make it work. Now, if we take this function here, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense at the moment, because it's basically saying for each number in the range of zero to five, stopping at five, go ahead and return this. But because we've done return, this is basically gonna stop at the first iteration and never proceed. So to show this happening, we call the function here and then printing nums twice, we can just see it's stuck at number zero. But if we change return to say yield instead this now has a hugely different behavior and now gives us what's called a generator and the way i think of generators is that they almost have like a play pause effect they basically remember where they are as long as you use the next function so if i just go ahead and remove this one here i've called my function here already but rather than just doing nums i'm going to say print off next of nums instead we'll hit run once and we get number zero, so same as earlier for the time being. However, let's go ahead and do a few more underneath. And we now get number zero, one, and two, and that is because of the yield keyword here. It's effectively remembering where about in this loop we are. And one of the good things about this is that it doesn't give you everything at once. So if you don't need all the items at once, you could go ahead and say, yeah, let's give me two here. You could then do something else in your code. So maybe I just say, let's define a new variable. Let's go ahead and print it. And then once we're done, we'll then come back to our generator and ask for something else. That is of course no issue. We can simply run it. Let's get two things from our generator. We'll go ahead and do something else. We'll then come back to the generator and we'll then keep going until the generator has given all the items from our loop. And my personal advice would be to use a generator if you're doing something computationally quite heavy but you don't need all the values at once. If you can generate them one at a time, it might often be better for what you're doing in your code.